What's up, guys? I'm to hear more. I'm um, Peaches. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Damn Internet, You Scary. <laughs> <laughs> it was your it's, birthday, man. It was a birthday weekend. It was a real man. one's birthday, bro. It was, it birthday was, a, was on uh, Saturday, right? His birthday was on Saturday. Yep. What Th- did you three do? Three four, big three four. Yeah, big thirty four. Man, uh, went to the desert. Okay. I got to, I got to meditate. I got these beads okay. from a, a, a native woman. That's beautiful. I think they're supposed to be around your waist. Nice. <laughs> I actually really like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to switch that it was, up and wear your, ne- your waist beads around your neck, Panthers. Just, Lead it to it. it. Was, there was just no counter available. It was just, oh. <laughs> All right. You didn't get a chance to block. You were sitting there. Just, Somebody just came in. A oh. clean, clean one, two. Hey, man. Well, listen. Because uh, it's your birthday, I wanted you to have a selection of drinks, man. I know you like yeah. the Captain Morgan and the Sevens Whiskey. Oh, shit. I got your shit specifically, and you like mimosas, so I got mimosas, too. That's dope. All I didn't the even drinks notice that the you customization. Ever, ever want, man. We got it here. That's now, I ain't going to get you too drunk, because we still got to shoot squad cast, right. too. <laughs> <laughs> like, immediately after this. But... <laughs> we finna get right. We finna get to it now. So I'm gonna pour up a glass. I'll let hey. you do some welcomes. What you want? You want the mimosas? Yeah, let's do the, mimosas. Let's start with the mimosas. Why not? It's man? early. It's early. <laughs> it's early enough to get started with that. Hey, well, you guys see, man. Not only did you know to hear go all out with the the birthday and the Halloween decorations, but uh, shout out to the Patreons. We going while we doing this. I'm gonna give you guys the option. Usually, uh, when we have guests, I have a bunch of stories. And I give them sort of like previews of headlines uh, to to get into. But I'm going to switch it up a little bit and do genres of headlines. Uh, so while we're doing this, I'm going to give you guys four genres. And I'm going to let the Patreons at home uh, decide what order we're going to do this in. This is a Halloween episode. So, of course, we got murder and crime. Ooh. Murder and crime is one. Uh, we got interesting. Interesting. Do you say interesting or interesting? I think- where you put the E? I, I just say interesting. Interest? Say fast, but it be interesting, what do you say, right? Cam? Interest or interest? Interesting. Interest? Of course Cam says it right. Interest. Of course Cam. He's not Google. He's <laughs> that's, that's when like a light bulb appears above your head. Interesting. <laughs> so we got murder and crime. Uh, we got interesting. Uh, we got weird. And we got sex. <laughs> Murder, crime, interesting, weird, and sex. That sounds like my Netflix. Uh, <laughs> the genre searches. <laughs> no, for real, low key though. <laughs> That's just Google. That's just Google. Okay, people are going weird immediately. Uh, King the Wiz says, "I pick the sexy choice." <laughs> he didn't just say sexy. Just I pick the sexy. Okay. Uh, you want pineapple, orange juice, pineapple or orange juice for your? Uh, um, let's mix it up. Okay. All right. You know what I want? Do you want a shot of Captain Morgan or a shot of the seven? Uh, let's do a shot of the seven. Okay. I'm gonna do the reposado. I got just you a, a little. Side. This is the only. This is the only thing I'm gonna plug right here, just because. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, th- uh, Cam, switch it. I was. I was gonna put it in front of. The, there we go. The Grand Carmino. What's uh, that? Shout out to Kevin. This is Kevin Hart's. Uh, Tequila? Tequila. Nice. Yeah. Is that new? Uh, he's been pushing it for a couple years, man. Kevin Hart is probably man the show. Iron Man of comedians. Yeah. I, I ain't never seen a comedian have a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a nice shoe, It's too. wild. He has a shoe, he has a fitness program, and he has tequila, and he also is selling out stadiums. You yeah. would think a comedian that's like, man, the stand-up ain't working. I got to do all this other stuff. Nah, he's... Author of two books. Multiple movies, his Pretty own it. studio, and a restaurant. Podcast, Forgot that <laughs> re- restaurant. <laughs> and I'm sure he's a part of a couple other investments that you know just aren't common knowledge. Right, 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 right. That's that's how I feel about Ryan Reynolds when I see that oh, Mint commercial. Man. I'm like, damn, you doing a a cell phone c- company? What is it? Is it cell phone or is it the service? It Thank was, you, sir. He sold it. Right, but was it like a it cell, cell phone, phone service? Mint, it was. It was Mint Mobile. Oh yeah, we we yeah, it's been on this show. <laughs> It was Mint Mobile, one of our uh, one of our sponsors. All, All right. right, it's looking like Weird is in first. Uh, we got a couple votes for Sex first, Weird second, Interesting third, Murder last. Oh man, you that guys, was you that guys, was you guys are getting well. soft. 
<laughs> soft with the murder last, man. Right? That used to be specifically what this podcast was about, the scary stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, we can play it safe today. Mm. And we realized that scary can mean most of the internet. <laughs> uh, let's see later. Sex first, weird second, interesting third, murder oh. last. Okay, let me post this real quick. And I think weird might have the most. It's looking like weird might have the most. So I'm gonna just pull up. All right, let's get it going in. Pull up one of the weird ones. All right, so the the audience got to pick uh, the genres. So we'll have to hear pick from the actual stories. Okay. You, for weird, you want to go with. Foreign objects, I should say. 3D printing. Tree. Let's go with that. Yeah. Trees, 3D printing, or foreign objects? Trees, 3D printing. Foreign objects first. I figured. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. A study claims that more American men are being hospitalized for having foreign objects stuck inside their rectum. Yes, saw this. Men are actually more likely than women to have a foreign object stuck in their rectum, uh, coming in at about 77.8, leaving only 22.2% for the female. So, wow. Mostly men sticking stuff up the butt. What sort of objects, you think? Hot Wheels, and I, that's just from, that's just from Jackass. Hot Wheels, <laughs> yes, toy cars, um, batteries. Okay, so that would that would be under, that would be under unspecified. That's in eighth place. <laughs> Whoa, there's seven other rankings. There's seven other. Okay, well let's get into it. Um, sexual is first place. So that's just that's just giving you the the spectrum. Sexual first place, unspecified for eighth place. So, so sexual just being like dildos, dildos, penis, dildos. Okay, gotcha. Okay, okay, gotcha. Oh wait, wait, wait. Bullets. Before we go any further, oh. cheers to my brother. Happy birthday to Thank you. Thank you, man. You know this is awesome. This is a little shot right here. Just get us going. Ooh, it's a, it's a little big one. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little delusional right now. Cheers. Cheers. Did you just land today? Uh huh. I landed at seven. 05, walk across the street. I think I got my bags because I park at LAX sometimes. I park inside, like, at in LAX. Uh, and hopped in the car and came right here. So I got here about 8.45, 8.50. And we started setting up. Cam, Tiff, yeah, Tiff, Tiff, you still here? Or did she leave? You still here? Come in. Oh, well. She I'm answered and you said, you still here? <laughs> What? I told you. I I'm said, the are loser. you still here? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that you talking? <laughs> Tiff is here. Come say hi to the people, Tiff. We just did a birthday I'm shot. Out, yeah, she, she 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 doesn't drink, so she didn't do a shot with us. Uh but she drinks sometimes. She just don't. Yeah, she drinks sometimes. She just doesn't <laughs> she doesn't indulge too much. So but yeah, we just did a birthday shot for back. Um and we just wanted to say thank you for your help of we got everything together. It's so. very nice. Thank you. Hey, man. Hey, you know what I'm Miss Hippie because she coordinated me. How's it going? Yes, of course. Hippie Hippie did Shout her thing. Out to Hippie. Remotely. Insane pulled everything together hard. remotely. So <laughs> definitely appreciate her, too. But yes, happy birthday. We were just talking about butt stuff in here. Butt oh, stuff. Oh, that's why I got called in. No, oh, no, no. Okay. You got called in to say thank you. It was mainly the butt thank you, then the butt stuff. Yeah. yeah. Butt stuff. But we were okay. continuing the butt stuff. So I'll stay for that, and then I'll go Okay. Because that sounds funny. All right. So basically, <laughs> we said there's 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 rankings of this stuff. Also, this is mostly men that this is doing this with. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ranking of butt stuff. Stuff found in uh, people's rectums. First place, sexual objects. Eighth place, unspecified. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So out of the specified, we're just going to do a quick little quick little guessing game to see. This is like a family feud, but with butt, butt stuff. Throw something out there, and then I'll, it'll flip and be like, ding! <laughs> so what kind of stuff do you think is being pulled out of the butt? Mm. <laughs> well, I already said the unspecified, like Food. a hot wheel. Mm -hmm. Huh? Food? Oh, like cucumbers. Like, yeah. 
banana. Okay, then I'm gonna get that this one out the way too. Second place is miscellaneous. <laughs> so unspecified <laughs> means d- I don't know what it is. And they can't just yeah they can't figure uh, out what miscellaneous it is. is just weird stuff. So Batteries, now we have buttons and there's six batteries buttons batteries? okay none none of those okay um, that must be in miscellaneous household cleaning objects I don't know like a broom uh, a handle nope. or something Jesus what are people putting up these gaping assholes and I, wait, it's getting stuck up there too so it has to be able to be small enough to get stuck think of like rich people having like big parties like big parties and dates like the fruit, the fruit? Or, <laughs> I think it counts as miscellaneous I guess <laughs> or food <laughs> wait, have you seen that food? before no, I just thought like regular people just don't be having dates in their house. When you say rich people, I was yeah. like, I it sound like I mean, you've seen this before. <laughs> dates. No, no. F- you know what? Food isn't on. <laughs> food like isn't statue? on here. I thought I thought grapes for sure would have been up an asshole or a strawberry. Okay, think um, of like a, a a Hollywood party. Okay, uh, huh? Beer bottle. Champagne? Okay, uh, th- third place bottles. Jars or bottle caps? Jars, <laughs> bottle caps. That's wow. that's after sexual and miscellaneous. Okay, <laughs> just bottle stuff. Just bottles. Bottle stuff. Let's. Uh, you said think Hollywood parties. Think Hollywood parties. Uh, like think about somebody like a like a girl bending over and something getting blown up their booty hole. Okay. Uh, blown up an Oscar your statue. booty hole. Uh, in the chat we got light specific. bulbs. We got phones. Whoa, Balloons. whoa, whoa. Okay. Light Wait, bulbs. Light bulbs. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Ouch. That's on the list. Yeah. Is that, you can no, track. No. Is that a thing? This is no, what people I are just saying, oh, doing like that. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> somebody said shampoo bottle. Yeah. Specific. Uh, large <laughs> candles. Candles. Toothbrush. Spatulas. Spatulas. Wow. Baseball bats. Hey, so y'all are items. freaky, freaky. None uh, of this is all miscellaneous. Phones. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> think what, like, a rich person would take a straw. A straw? Cocaine? Drugs. Oh, drugs. Wow. Okay. Drugs okay. is okay. after bottle stuff. You'd think that would be right after miscellaneous. Oh, no, if, like you hide it in there to tuck. I have a weird story about that. Not me, about but drugs? a person. Yeah. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I could see that, like hiding it in there, your cocaine, see, stuffing it I up don't there. See, I don't see hiding it in there. I can definitely see Putting trying it, it to get, yeah. Because you can get drunk faster if you pour alcohol in Put it in a tampo. No, a tampon. tampon. Oh, yeah, tampon too. But also the, the, also the uh, anus too because it doesn't go... Go straight, to the it goes straight to your bloodstream. straight your bloodstream. So wait, the booty hole goes straight to the bloodstream? Because it's, it's the last stop to absorb the rest of the water, and it, that goes directly into the bloodstream. Because that's what that's wait, what, your, what? Rectum, your rectum absorbs the last bit of water if it's in the the food that you were eating. <laughs> when I studied a rock, they rectum? actually did that. Damn, you thirsty as <laughs> fuck, <laughs> rectum? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> you thirsty as <laughs> fuck, old sponge <laughs> ass, <laughs> rectum <laughs> ass, <laughs> fuck, nigga. I did Gross. not know that. Gross. <laughs> All right, so we got it. Drugs, because, you know, people Drugs. be blowing, like, cocaine and pills up there. Uh-huh. Um, so, interestingly, mm-hmm. bottle is... It, another one is, is similar to bottle. So, if you didn't have a bottle, what would you have? Thermos. A can? A yes. Can? <laughs> Chimney. <laughs> what? All what? of my answers what? are valid. Just, they're just bottles. not right. Thermos is of... wild. <laughs> hey, man, that's a small thermos. <laughs> Damn, a, flask, a hydro a flask? flask? <laughs> Like, like there. Oh, Lord. I've seen some videos, man, and some of the forearms I've seen coming out of gaping Ooh, yeah. booty holes fisting. are small or bigger. Forearms? Yes. Oh, fisting is fisting. that one? You watch those hands? I mean, every now and then I just be like, eh, let's try something new today. Nope, still doesn't work. There's that much room? I've seen you can, it can it's a thing. Fisted. It's a thing. It's I've definitely the Folsom seen that. Street pair in San you gotta, Francisco. But I've they seen, do I know this is, but to the elbow? Bro, I, here's the thing. All right, so I never. But... I'm giving this one story, right? <laughs> I've actually never said this on camera. Ooh. I, you know, you know how the booty hole is like a balloon, what? Dot, right? So it's like it's it's usually tight. So when you do have anal sex, <laughs> you put the head up against the booty hole, the little balloon knot, and it slowly opens up, and then it's like a suction, and it kind of pulls it in, right? Is that how you supposed to do it? I mean, that's how I've done it. <laughs> I can't, I can't speak for receiving it. That's how it. I prefer it. Yeah, yeah like you take your just, time. You put, Don't it seems nice. You put, you put a yeah, shit on there. Thank you. And you kind of slowly apply pressure. It right? pulls they it in. They can't see your it, fingers. I wish oh, they so, could because so this you, is lovely. You, you put it on the on the balloon knot. You put the, the helmet on the balloon knot. You just slowly apply pressure. You just you're just pressing it against it, right? And slowly <laughs> it pulls it, it, it in opens like a, a little bit. And then a suction kind of like it makes it a little easier, right? Because we've already talked about how the booty hole makes its own secretion, right? So. You can use lube. That definitely helps, but it also does create its own. Absolutely use lube. Definitely use lube. Um, 
But I, I've had sex with somebody that actually prefers anal over vaginal intercourse. Oh, that's a crazy. That's a crazy. It has a different G spot. Yeah. yeah so mm-hmm. I, I would I say this: know. I've most of the booty holes I licked have been balloon. Yeah, I've choked a little bit. <laughs> Most just, of the booty holes I just, licked. That didn't have any drum roll entry. That just, no, that, that just, that just coming right in, in there. there. Most of the booty holes I lick are balloon knot status, right? Most of them. What else is there? This young lady, it was Wait. a jar. Ooh. Oh. It was open a little bit. It was already it was, just, open. Just, even oh, when she was standing straight up? Well, no, she was, she was, she was, she was uh, arched up. Oh, but, so then it was like already open, like it, ready yeah, for it. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't gaping, but it was a jar. It was like it was like it was preheated. The door is open, like that, like the door is a, a, a little less than that, maybe half. So when I was always like, going around, the, well, <laughs> maybe just in this position. Sometimes you yeah. do it a lot. The elasticity is not always. Lost, yeah, it's yeah. like wearing out it, shorts. It can be. Yeah, <laughs> Patrick's yeah, the, but it also could have been the position because of the arch. The way your art is kind of like when you're sitting on a squatty potty. Your that position I would has your run. legs up. But so it was. I was just saying like normally when you you hitting the balloon knot, it's just it's closed, right? But this was a little jar, so it's kind of like when I was going around with the tongue, I was just I just wanted to see if it would go down. When oh, I you did, were eating this butt. I was eating that butt. You were eating. You were eating an open butt. <laughs> I thought the. I thought the whole point of, of eating butt was to not really like you go in a little bit sometimes, but you just kind of like his, his paint it. You paint it. Pat. I've done some things that I regret in my life. This was not <laughs> one of them. But, but it, most of the things that I do regret in my life, I saw them through to the end because I'm like, this might be a good story, and that's why. Eating, I'm but eating an open booty habit. hole. That's a, <laughs> eating an open booty hole. I mean, is it like, wasn't like a Seven Eleven <laughs> open. It was kind of like, hey, our hours are from like nine to eleven. <laughs> but I thought the whole point was the booty hole's tight. I mean, it was, was you still getting there? It was still, was, it was still grippy grip. Grippy grip. It was still. I going. feel like she just. She poop, was still gripped up. She just has to lean over to poop. It's like no, a pour. It's no, like a no, pour no, or no, something. No, no, man, no. Open. Huh? No, it's not just straight open. What? Like if she was standing yeah, up straight? Yeah, she probably still has. It was really know, the position. Some, I'm pretty sure it was the position ooh, that she was in. That's wild. Neither here nor there. I forgot what we were talking we digress. about. Right, the list. The, the list. <laughs> oh shit! No, you're not gonna finish that story. That was it. The booty hole was a jar while Wait, I ate did, it. Did you put your penis in it? Oh yeah, yeah. That, that, <laughs> so was it like was it like a, That's a, what I'm saying, a the was it like a cave? Oh okay. Yeah, he said, was it like a cave? <laughs> was it a bist? Did it whistle? All right. Ew, not All right, so. <laughs> All right, so other things found in the booty hole. That's a funny pivot, but that's what we were talking about before. <laughs> All right. Party favors? Is that a thing? Cell phones? So Cell bottles. Phones? Like, I don't know what it is about drink containers, but if you don't have a bottle, what you got? Cans. Cans. It's ding, ding, can. ding. Sixth place is cans. So, so far we got yes. sexual object, miscellaneous, bottle slash jar or bottle cap. The cap is wild. Uh, it's all wild. Drugs. <laughs> blank for fifth place. Somebody said a wrench. Blank. Wait, a blank. wrench? I, you guys, oh, let's say miscellaneous. Tools. Hey, listen, we need to talk. We need. I, I don't know if we have better help today, but somebody needs to talk to y'all. We got two more, fifth place and seventh place. So this is what's before and after cans. <laughs> 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 so what do you think is less pleasurable than cans, and then what do you think is more pleasurable than cans? That's this the is only... also saying that statistically cans outweighed being miscellaneous, right? This is about like the amount. The, the frequency amount. Yep. made frequency. it its So all of these category. things are so much that they needed their own category, whereas everything else like wrench and dates were just thrown <laughs> into miscellaneous. Um, oh, I don't think you guys will get one of these. I think you guys will get another one of these. I think you guys will get fifth place. Seventh place is... is so specific. Okay. So specific. Somebody said uh, toy swords, a brush. Uh, we already talked about fruit. Or a brush. Uh, nunchucks? nunchucks? All miscellaneous. Okay. I would have loved them. You think you would pull well. out nunchucks like together or one at a time? Then the chain. Well, maybe candy, like a ring pop? Uh, No, but Pops think of the shape of a ring pop, maybe. Oh. Somewhat. Oh, a butt plug. Well, that's sexual. Oh. Mm. All right, the so shape of a ring pop. here's fifth place. Fifth place, the slash is crazy. Fifth place is ball slash marble. <laughs> <laughs> but those are two very different sizes. 
Not true. Depending on what kind of ball. I mean, a marble's marble a ball. ball. Marbles could be. Yeah. Marbles are balls. Balls marble. aren't yeah. really marbles, no. though. <laughs> all marbles are balls, but not all balls are marbles. Which is interesting because anal beads already exist, but yeah, then there's right. a whole community of people that are just like putting loose marbles. They don't want this. They don't want the connection. They want. Yeah. They went separate. Also, aren't marbles like toys? Also, Where are we getting the age of this from? bracket? Like, this marbles makes are sense toys. If we were yeah, you're going to like a toy store to get marbles. <laughs> but this is grown oh, men. Right. Probably getting jacks, too, but jacks sound here. like they hurt. Wow. And given wow. what I do, I'm rarely surprised, but this list is intriguing. This right. is a great great list. So, so far, we got sexual objects first place, then miscellaneous, then bottle slash jar or bottle cap, then drugs coming in at fifth place, ball slash marble, then cans. Then blank, then unspecified, meaning we don't know what it is. That's only point nine. So, the seventh place is writing implements. Oh, pencil, writing? pen. Pencils, pens, Sharp. highlighters, Sharp sharpies. Highlighters. So, there was so many of these that they were just like, well, okay, so there's a lot of sharpies, so we can't just say pencils. So, <laughs> writing, writing implements. Talk, talk, <laughs> writing. Oh, my gosh. Writing utensils. Crayons. Wow. Things, yeah, I think that would count. Wildly Crayon. uncomfortable. Okay. So just know that that's... Um... Oh, and the first place age group, 20 to 24. See, oh, yeah, I'm sense. so glad I'm close that's to my 40s now. Age. Oh, yeah. my God. Well, yeah, don't... Uh... <laughs> S- wait, slow down, because for some reason, 11th place is 15 to 19, but then 12th is 75 and over, and then 13th <laughs> so the is 70. really old. They're the ones that dabble the most. No, old dabbles the most because ninth is 40 to 44, 10th is 65 to 69, 11th is 15 to 19, so it goes all the way back down, and then 12th, 75 and over, then 70 to 74. So freaks, hey, old gotta, people are still sitting say, on hey, some shit. They say, hey, fuck it, if it ain't killed me, yeah, let's, let's try it every day. <laughs> if it ain't killed me, let's try it I've lived 80 years, and that has not been up my ass. Okay, wait. So, like, a whole other option is you're more likely to be constipated at that age. They might just be, like, fishing. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hear I old know. people are freaky. I hear there's a lot I of mean, sex that goes know. on in, uh, in nursing in homes. nursing homes, yeah, I've heard that. Which is wild, Which but also... also uh, like a I case of uh, gonorrhea has gone through. Ooh, yeah. Oh wow! They're less Hold likely gonorrhea? to use condoms. They're less likely. I'm to use not. Condoms. If I'm sixty uh, or 75, 85, and nigga, I'm not using a condom. Like, no condom. You shooting dust bullets the, anyway. The dust last bullet. thing I'm gonna walk in a convenience store and grab is a condom. You got your goddamn mind. Take this apparently wrong. they're oh, walking into a convenience store and looking for things to put up their ass. <laughs> 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 Lots of pencils. Seventy-five and over. They're just scanning the room for things that haven't been up their ass in their life. Well, uh, and on that note, we just want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, guys. A lot of stuff can go on through life, within life, and just want to let you know that you have option when it comes to therapy. You don't have to go with the traditional route uh, of therapy. Um, there are so many options when it comes to it, and one of my favorite options is BetterHelp. Therapy gives you a place to be completely honest and talk with someone that is completely unbiased. Um, You get to really link with that person. And I love that BetterHelp gives you an opportunity to match with a therapist within 48 hours. And if for some reason you and that therapist just aren't clicking the way that you would like, you have the option to request a new therapist at no additional charge and still find that new therapist in under that same 48 hours as well. Um, I love BetterHelp because I, I, I'm i always on the road. So sometimes I, even if I was doing traditional therapy, I would not be able to make all of my appointments. There's just no way possible I could do it. So I love the fact that with BetterHelp, I can sign in anywhere from the world and still make my appointment. Um, I love the fact that I get a chance to verbally speak about some of the things that I am may be troubling me, some of the things that I'm really focusing on, or some of the things that may just have me boggled down and I'm feeling trapped by, and I get an unbiased opinion of somebody that's going to listen to me and actually ask questions to help me further understand what I may be going through. And a lot, I've said this a lot of times. Sometimes you just need to say it verbally. Sometimes you just need to get it out, say it, and once you realize what you've been thinking about, I'm like, oh, this ain't even this ain't even that bad, or this is something I, I actually can't handle, or I didn't even realize this could be attached to this trauma from all of these years before. So um, I love and appreciate BetterHelp. I, I'm a big fan and a big proponent for therapy, especially in a black community. All right, now this, is a, this ain't in the script. They didn't ask me to say, I'm just going to say it, fellas. 
we need this therapy. We be trying to start this relationship with these women, and women, when it comes to emotional levels and sometimes educational, they are eons ahead of us. And so if you want to be an efficient partner, if you want to be a uh, considerate partner, if you want to be an effective partner, I would encourage you to check out BetterHelp, all right? Do it today. Go to the website, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash D-I-Y-S today and get 10% off your first month, okay? Get a break from your thoughts. Go with BetterHelp. Again, go to BetterHelp today, betterhelp.com slash D-I-Y-S to get 10% off your first month. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash D-I-Y-S. Big proponents for it. Holla at your baby. And shout out to Tiff, Great too. Standard. Tiff is a therapy ah. therapist. I'm sorry, therapy. therapy. Ther- ther- <laughs> she's actually She was actually a, a therapist on BetterHelp. She was. was out there helping the people. She has recently started her own private practice. But nice. shout out to Tiff because she was out here helping the community. That's Tony community. Baker was that. <laughs> the community. The community. All right. We did the, uh, well, we, that was weird, but it was also kind of sexual. <laughs> right, that's okay. a weird sexual turn. That wasn't in the sex category? No, that was definitely in the weird. Um, but now we're going to go into the interesting, which was second place. Okay. Um, all right, so here's the headline. A man thought he had a tumor, but it turned out there was a tree growing inside of him. I saw this one. You saw that a one? A tree? A tree was, imagine being a doctor shooting the x-ray and you see a fern <laughs> like root? growing inside. And what's crazy is, the <laughs> you know, there was like folklore behind this. Like, I feel like people would say, like, mm-hmm. don't eat these, don't Water eat the seeds. seeds. Yeah. yeah. Something will grow in you. So this actually happened. So this Didn't they not know? They thought it was a tumor until they opened him up and found it was a plant as far as. Yeah. So he thought, that's why he was there. He thought yeah. he had a tumor. So Russian doctors who were prepared to remove a suspected cancer tumor from a 28-year-old uh, named Artyom Sidorkin. Uh, instead, they found a five-centimeter fir tree growing in his lungs. Okay, I assume stomach. What? It was the lungs. Yeah, need, trees would need air. So. And sun. Holy shit. Photosynthesis. Like, yeah. isn't that the key to plants? Know. That part, I have no idea. Right. That's crazy, <laughs> but they are getting oxygen. Chlorophyll. So right. initially thought to be cancer due to symptoms like severe chest pain, coughing up blood, and such like that, uh, surgeons were stunned to find a small tree inside his lung. It was believed that he may have inhaled the seed, which then sprouted. But how without the... I don't without get the, the soil, do, right? Oh, like, that's what well, I'm... that I'm, part, I'm, maybe, like, your, your body, the, the roots could be sucking something from your body, possibly. But I just, well, the sun seems to be such an integral part of a plant... To survive, I don't get that. So far. that's terrifying because oh the basis God. of Last of Us is like, you know, the spores, they yeah. grow in your brain, blah, blah. Isn't that it, crazy? It, it has like leaves. It looks like a branch that's of a Christmas mean, like, tree. How, well, I guess it's not green, though. No, it do. Mm. It do it look, look like a branch. Yeah, like it was a, <laughs> a branch of a Christmas tree. Like the shit that's yeah. left behind when you take it out. Really was that not on the list? On the butt list? On the butt, what? Trees? Furs? Miscellaneous. It's made of miscellaneous. That's Before so removing the major part of the man's lungs, uh, the surgeon investigated the tissue taken in a biopsy. He said, I thought I was hallucinating, which a doctor should never say. Man. I asked my assistant to have a look. Come and see this. We've got a fir tree here. He nodded in shock. I blinked three times as I was sure I was seeing things. Uh, they believe the coughing of blood was caused by the tiny pine needles Ugh. piercing blood capillaries. It was very painful, but to be honest, I did not feel any foreign object inside me. I'm so relieved it's not cancer. That's crazy. He coughed up a, a tree and was like, it wasn't cancer, though. Hey, listen. I, I would I would, I would, have that same sentiment. What? Uh, T. Hudson said, you don't need soil to sprout a seed, yeah. at least. You just need uh, water. You can do it wet, with a wet paper towel. Oh, and that's, I, right. that's right. And I, I remember that, that part yeah. right there. But, like, ain't nobody around here eating paper towels. Well... No, the lo- everything's moist in your body. You think? <laughs> right, yeah, right, maybe right, I'll yeah. try it if it's a big right moist. Sauce. Even I, the I, inside I, of your lungs. I definitely <laughs> ate a piece of a napkin with some ranch on it, so I can't even say that. <laughs> I always pictured our lungs as just like a something that just like air was like. Whoosh. No, I didn't think of it as like wet. <laughs> yeah, because everything's get, you wet. You can get fluid yeah. on your lungs. Too. Everything, yeah. Right, but I thought that was a problem when you get it fluid. It is. It is. So I assumed that it wasn't that dry in the inside of them, but what it's latching into, the roots would be latching into the wall, probably the cell wall, and there oh, would be the right. cell wall. That's fancy. I would imagine that the lungs are still a little moist because that's moisture in air. Yeah. And it's, it's, H, it's literally it's H2O. Yeah. And it was green in there. 
It, the needles were green. That's the wild part. That's the wild part. Yeah, because that, yeah, that, that, that really goes bad. back to the yeah. whole sun thing that you were saying. It mm. says it grew inside his body after he swallowed a small bud. T. Hudson, I, you don't have to do that. You don't have to get that personal. She said, Tears, I'm about to say, don't you eat paper? <laughs> it was one time. He guys. beat you to it. <laughs> you do one rant. thing on camera one time. Y'all don't ever let somebody forget it, child. <laughs> Y'all ain't Christians. <laughs> And I checked. I repeat, f- repented for my sins, man. Let me go, man. <laughs> I checked a few, a few websites. It doesn't seem like anybody's breaking into the science of this, um, but that's. I didn't even know that was true, and that's really scary. Yeah, we can just grow plants inside of us now. That's weird. I mean, it's also kind of cool because it's almost like infinite oxygen. Like, imagine you kind of like grew a bigger yeah, tree. Be self-producing. So it's like, like if you were in a place, if yeah. you were in a place that had no oxygen, would you just be good? You like, I got a tree in my lungs. It should be scary lungs. for men because it proves you could grow something inside of you too, not just women. Yeah, there you go. Boom. That's that's, that's a cool little. Tie. I wonder if he when he called me up if he was like, uh, I am Groot. <laughs> right. <laughs> That nigga was Groot. <laughs> that might be Groot's origin story, right? <laughs> it was like it's it's all types of roots and hey. shit in you, man. I don't know what's going on. Hey, you never know, man. You never know. That would be fire. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what was after weird and interesting? Uh, I remember murder, murder was, was last. last. Okay. So then, let's go into sex. Okay. Sex therapist says that she sleeps with her clients to help oh. save their marriage. I didn't get a chance to read this story. I definitely want to know about this story. It's kind of cool. I had this <laughs> idea years ago, and I never, I never great. acted on it. First it's, of all, let's just say this. All right, it's great the, service. The fact that this was a story, I feel like this could only be a story by a woman. Because a guy wouldn't be able to like pull this off, I feel like. It wouldn't come out this way. It, it wouldn't would come, come out, out this way. It would be more of a scandal. Or, therapist yeah. sleeps with her patient. Yeah. That's a train. This like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there would be a whole different headline. How is this not a HIPAA <laughs> violation? Like, it, what, what's it, going on? Like, that sex be... therapist trains their his clients. Yeah. Like, how? how I, I, just, I got so many questions with this. So I think it's because a woman. Oh. It's not about, oh. Don't. Young oh. guy. Dom pulled up on a motorcycle. Happy birthday! Whoa! Whoa! Look at his scary eyes. This dog is beautiful. What's up? What's up, Dom? Dom, how you doing? I should have loved you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they all make this little sound. Yes. The little growling. Yeah. Hey, look at him coming to sit down next to me. What's up, man? Say, I'm a girl. Right? What's up, sure. girl? She's. She's. You can tell she's nervous, boy. She be shaking all over the place. She, you know. That's a French bulldog? Yeah. All French bulldogs are struggling to breathe. Yeah. yeah they are. It's a lot going on. She's so like, cute. Shout out to Dom. I don't know if y'all follow her at St. Angeles on Instagram, but she went to the... The uh, Beyonce. The Beyonce concert as one of the blue... Group, uh, blue man group member. She's the uh, uh, the the sixth member. The kind of green man. It was a cute outfit. Though. Blue Ivy. Yeah. Why you gotta do me like I'm that? I'm just talking shit. That's just what I do. First of all, I ain't seen you in a while, so I had to talk so, a little. First of all, let's talk about how people were my fans. They were fans of my outfit. Fact. Okay. It was I fire. On the stage. Fire. Was that well, the? Was that, that was the green, green tiger yeah. print thing. Yeah. So I, I could tell when I saw the picture. I forgot you. You because you had sent me a picture of it before. I was like. Yeah. Oh, she definitely bought this outfit before the silver thing was yeah. there. And yeah. she was and like, I'm not changing. I'm not changing. And even if I did it, I still wasn't changing. <laughs> like, I just, like, Virgo, Virgo stuff, why? Like, why would I, like, concede to what a Virgo is? Fucking Libras, man. And I'm Fuck. not a Libra. I'm an Aquarius. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Of course, of course. So I'm like, li- though Libras are a family member, they're, she, they're in there. She <laughs> because she just, you know, I don't know. It's just a new environment. It's, yeah, so she is, is different for she her. She's going to chill she, in a minute. Young Pac's going to chill fine. in a minute. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a new member of the Beehive that. real quick. Awesome. And uh, Wait, did you go? I did. Yeah. I, went to you the, know? I went to the Vegas show two weekends ago. Oh. I was on stage. No big deal. You was no on big deal. Yeah. Oh. Yes. He, was in, he was in Club Renaissance. Yes. yes. So I, I had on silver. 
So uh, I just wanted to say your outfit was more formation era. No. <laughs> it, okay. No, no, no. So it is. It was great. So it was fire. It was a hat. So you didn't listen to the album. So it was like Alien Superstar alien. meets Formation. So I know Alien Superstar. Now that's you the know one it. where they uh, she goes, unique. Yes. Okay, for sure. So that's yeah. what I was given. <laughs> so anytime you, like, if you, you know, get in the habit of taking, like, beehive quizzes. Is that everything. category? It's bad bitch. Yes, <laughs> come on, yeah. tell him. Yeah. Well, I'm sure, well, why I listen to Beyonce it? a lot now. What, what, what's your favorite <laughs> song on this new album? Because I know mine. Wait, wait, wait. Listening to or watching her perform? I'm talking Ooh. about just listening to listen, on, listen on this to album. Because I ain't seen it. I ain't seen the concert yet. If I could find another. LA wasn't the last city, right? No, no. no. So, I mean, we can go to Seattle. Arlington, Seattle. Kansas is actually the last one. When is Seattle? One. Why? I don't know. Seattle is like next 14th. week. Uh, yeah. I go to Mexico next week, 12th nice. to the 17th. Mm-hmm. Shows? No, just, uh, just my, 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 my Two of my best friends, their birthdays are, they're both Virgos, and they're that week of next mm-hmm. week. What part of Mexico? Uh, Cabo. Ooh, nice. okay. I've never been to Cabo. Yeah, so. well, well, I mean, it wraps. It wait, Cabo I, San Luke. I, oh, yeah, I was just there. Yeah. <laughs> I was just there last I've, year. I've, 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 I've never been there. I've been to the only place in Mexico I've been to is Merida. Oh, what's the wait? What was the original place to go to that was like Cancun. super? Pop- okay, yeah, that's where Cancun, I've never been. Is that Cabo fun? Became yeah, Cancun. I went to Cancun my my senior grad trip. Had a great time. Got pickpocketed. Lost eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Holy Kuna's shit! Wait, senior grad trip. Always <laughs> has some anyway. story yeah. working. Yeah. 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 That's a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a storyline. Uh, them motherfuckers got me with my wallet in <laughs> the front, the bro. My oh, you were was safe. In the front, bro. I had to get money wired to me. How you do and that? And at that point, I, I put it. I had a lanyard, and I put the money. I had a wallet that was like on the lanyard. And I just put that shit on the lanyard under my shirt. I was like, you got to go through the arm or underneath my shirt to get. This do you money. know when it happened? Oh, up on the bus. No, but like, do you remember like getting yes. bumped? Oh, so you I, know, I, I don't remember. Like, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't I can remember see that. happening. I can see they, that. But they called down us. So they were good remember, as hell. I was. Yeah. We were leaving Wet Willies. It was that either really Wet Willies is. or Fat Tuesdays. Mm. I was on the bus. It was hella crowded. Everybody standing. I'm holding up to the rail. Yeah. And, and you're doing this just from the, the bus uh-huh. moving. And they got me during that time. That's like some Ocean's Damn. Eleven. I had, like, I, had right, the, I had it when I left the club. And That's on the way home, the only thing we did was get on the bus. From the front is crazy. From the front, but bro. I've seen but it done like, from you know, the swim trucks, board shorts. So like they're they're like it was loose. Got the slit. Yeah, they, I think he just went in right there, got me, bro. Damn. Was it a small wow. wallet? Uh, it was a. S- Bro, I, honestly, I, it might have been a billfold, but it might have just been the money and like right out. I can't even remember. That's so cool. I feel like it was a billfold because I had my I had my license just that they like can that. do that. They had that I hate deal. I yeah. hate thieves, yeah. but there's something so interesting about yes. like uh, getting. It's like an art form. Yes. It's like it's like yes. magicians, low key. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. No, no, like the sleight, sleight of hand. hand. Yeah, it's and so the sleight cool. of hand that you don't even see. That's how yeah. fast it is. So I completely it's get like it, bro. The first twenty minutes of every assassin movie. Is when they're just poor and barefoot in some com- like country, like pickpocketing thing, like people, and mm-hmm. it's so it's like the best part of the movie. <laughs> no, it's crazy. I, I know, I know, in a lot of places, like oh, it's uh, cool now. Yeah, she's calm. Like now. the she's like the elevator going up the Eiffel Tower. Uh-huh. It has a sign like "Watch out for the pickpocketers" because like people up on buy, top. No, like no, in, the ele- in, the ele- in the elevator. Oh, because they're like, close people, to each other. Yeah, they're bumping. Because, like, people, uh, oh, in the elevator itself. Yeah, like they'll buy a ticket because it's like I'm gonna get somebody. Have you been to London? No, never. Paris? No, never. You know we're doing a European late. I want to go. I'm probably, Berlin, I'm probably gonna jump over there. London. Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw Berlin, it, London, Paris. That's in October, it? right? That's yeah. in October. I should so, start looking uh, now. <laughs> so I'm looking now, and yeah, yeah. So I'm looking yeah. now. Because I'm like, I still want to hop down. I'm like, oh, hey man, gotta, we I take it. Do so it. we doing. I'm, I had to do most I was trying to city. decide, but I might. I want to go to all of them. <laughs> they're if close. You, they're close like train rides. So, yeah, yeah. well, no, so we fly into Berlin, and then we catch uh, uh, what is it? British Airlines from Berlin to London. You have to and fly. We, yeah, and then we take the oh, Euro yeah, so train. Going yeah, we take back. the Euro train from or, London yeah. to Paris. Yeah, take London and Paris are close to each other. Yeah, yeah. close yeah. enough for the train. Yeah, I'm good. I think it's like things. an hour and a half ride. Or I, hour. I, I, I want to be. A, I want to take the train to just say I took the last train to Paris. Yeah, cute. So, well, I mean, so you gonna stay there till 11 p.m. <laughs> 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 this is gonna be so worth it. And just listen to <laughs> the, just whole, the, whole, the whole train ride. Listen, I'm gonna listen to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to the last train to Paris. Then and they listen. cancel the last train, I'm, and you homeless I'm taking, now. I'm taking a kid. <laughs> 
trying to be cute. <laughs> Whatever. I'm taking the kid with us for uh, for this trip. And otherwise, we would go to Amsterdam after we left Paris. Because the kid Amsterdam, can handle no, Amsterdam. Come on, Amsterdam. the kid. Well, Amsterdam no, doesn't would, seem would, like there's a lot like, of things. No, the kid is very young. I tell you my Amsterdam stories off camera. That's how wild. And y'all know I share everything with y'all. But my Amsterdam stories? <laughs> Make sure you sign up I'm for the Patreon to get Amsterdam. this exclusive content. They won't even get that on the Patreon. Okay, so okay. Oh, that's, the fans. Oh, yeah, the that only shit. fans. Yeah, they <laughs> might have, yeah, that shit is crazy. Amsterdam was a wild ass time. Do you, you, would, you want one? You want um, a, a mimosa or a shot sure, of anything? Um, I really probably should. I've been drinking all week. I feel like my whole body is just alcohol right now. Deliver the shut down. Yeah. yeah. Like it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's He's saying this. He got work to do right after this too. We, I got. I got. I have to go to. That's his. We get your first last. Oh, okay. Got your I first last. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, was... So where are we at? Oh, you said something about a sex therapist. I was very interested. Oh yes, uh, sex therapist That's sleeps good. with clients oh, to save juice. their marriage. Thank you, sir. Oh no. All right. So let's begin. No, no. Sex therapist <laughs> Olivia Bentley. It's a great name. Olivia Bentley has found the magical solution to saving people's marriages, sleeping with her clients. How utterly innovative and unheard of. Who would have thought that having sex outside of marriage could actually help save it? According to Bentley, women have actually asked her to perform sexual acts on their husbands or give them a hall pass to see her. Because clearly, the best way to address marital issues is by introducing infidelity into the mix. There's a lot of personal opinions. That's what it feels like. Throwing in, in into the story, this. yeah, in the headline, there is a lot of personal. I get opinions. physically involved with the majority of the people I see. I think that's part of the appeal. She told the news. Some ladies say, "I don't always want to be involved in this, but I want to know who you are. I want to approve of you, and I'm not going to let him come and see you." Oh, excuse me. And I'm going to let him come and see you. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, Bentley isn't just about the physical aspects of things. She also supports her clients emotionally by giving them tips for a healthy sex life. Because nothing says, I care about your marriage, like sleeping with someone and then offering some... There's a lot of... This hey, author is... Oh, my yeah. goodness. This, this very, author isn't okay. really just giving us... Yeah. Not the, what's, the, what's the news organization? Uh, <laughs> my sources are Hollywood Unlocked. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Maurice C. Uh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, but that's this what is... they do. They they take that tone with it. But here's mm -hmm. the thing, like, Farron, you gotta know who your partner is. Farron likes to see me be pleasured. Hmm. So okay. even uh when we have participated in certain things, uh she'd be like, I no, y'all just have fun. I just wanna watch. And she turns I, to the Voyager. Hey, I I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> what an audience. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the whole past has been like a reoccurring theme the past couple of weeks. And so Candy and Todd from Housewives, they have a movie called Hall Pass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a twist in the ending, but I feel like it's a conversation piece. Well, is that the twist that they didn't have, they didn't take the Hall Pass? No, it, it's, uh, it, I. I'm telling you, it's a little long, but it's <laughs> worth the watch. Oh, you already saw it? You oh, watched I saw it, it and oh, I was on, like, okay. my God. Really? Because okay. there's already a movie called Hall Pass. That's this, what I was saying. Well, oh, but, but, okay, time. so pretty much in this film... Oh, it's just the past, I think. It, and it'll all come together in the ending. But the husband presents his homeboy's like, oh, you should ask her for, like, a Hall Pass. So... She's very kind of like standoffish about it, but ultimately they agree. You know, she's like, okay, you can, I'm always on the road working, yeah. hall pass, fine. Here are the rules. Don't bring nobody home. They can't be in our house. I was like, don't sleep with nobody in mm -hmm. our bed, blah, blah, blah. And then she also has a hall pass too. Mm -hmm. So, Ooh, yeah. That's where it gets sticky. That's where, that's where it gets, gets sticky. Because a lot of, a lot of men don't let the, the, the double way. The guys yeah. can't have Women be cool with it. Women be like, hey, all right, these are the rules. That's what I would appreciate about women. Yeah. Their, their over communication is intended so that there is no misunderstanding. Yeah. Right? right? Women can handle it as long as you play by those guidelines and those yep. boundaries. Men be like, oh, you touched him? <laughs> you held his hand? <laughs> you like emailed that. him back? That's right, what sex that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, can't guys don't have the stomach. <laughs> yeah, And their egos can't handle it. 
Facts. It's it's interesting because I feel like I've had like in different relationships this conversation of the hall pass or what will happen or how people respond and it's really like like to hear it says like men are like even when I was like on a break and it was like did you hook up with somebody it's like oh my god I can't believe and it actually recently came up in conversation and I felt some type of way but I was like we was not <laughs> together we were on a break like Ross and Rachel. Man. <laughs> Terrible reference. People, like, I, I don't know why. why. <laughs> right, you got no black references? Listen. <laughs> don't take that advice. <laughs> Some people watch Friends, man. Don't they like say. Friends. You can't reference that in a heated argument. Listen. <laughs> I, 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 said, I said, hold on. I said, we were on a break. Like, I literally, I was like, like Ross oh and God. Rachel, come on. <laughs> but I was like, yo, Friends. like, I never, see, here's the thing. He's like, I just assume, like, if I'm on a break with somebody, they're going to mess around. Uh-huh. Uh, but I'm not going to ask because it's, if I have to ask, that means my intuition really knows. Like, I know. So I'm not asking you. Like, I don't care that much. We weren't together. I was doing my third this and you was doing your thing, too. So whatever. <laughs> your dog know you like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I've been dog's... feeling like she chips sometimes. Yeah, and I'm she... like, Johnny can hear all of this shit. It sounded like she rolled her eyes like you <laughs> right. lying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay. kind of yeah. <laughs> but, I saw the whole thing. <laughs> but you are absolutely correct. I don't know why it's like that, why men become so possessive. Because we don't have, they don't have, a lot of guys don't have the, the emotional capacity for, Ego wise for it, it's very much a, I can do what I want, but don't you dare copy me. It's like, but why though? Y'all so be blaming have- us. It's, it's <laughs> instinctual. Do y'all realize that bears be just walking around killing other, like finding women, smashing, killing the kids if they it's with somebody else? Like we so are in- instinctually kind of thing, right? possessive. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily possessive and territorial. I don't think it's just that. I think I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that most men aren't taught how to process their emotions. Mm. Not too. And because we're not taught how to Bears process also. our emotions, we don't know fair. how to we don't know how to effectively translate what we're feeling and why we feel that way. And so when we have these little instances that happen, we just brush it under the rug. We have another Instance that might be a little bigger, but we don't explain it, we don't process it, we don't talk about it. So it's just building up, building up, building up. And this is something that's major, right? And we know we can't take it. Yeah. Most guys know they can't take it because they haven't effectively learned how to talk about their emotions. And we're not encouraged to. Yeah. Like the moment that you do open up and show your softer side, your feminist side, as some women would say in society. Then they, they say, you're weak, you acting like a bitch, why are you crying, all of this type of stuff. And this just further, uh, it further, uh, God dang it, I was on such a good world role. <laughs> um, I mean, proves, I, mean, I get what you're saying, but also, I feel like in that, that context, like I feel like all of us here are very transparent with each other. Yes, we have a safe space for each other, and it, it is our job as partners to create that safe space. So, Mm -hmm. like, for example, it was one time something happened in my relationship where I was like, okay, why are you you tripping out? Like, hold on. Like, let's get to the root of this. This nigga was having a bad day. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, so when you're having a bad day and if I'm bringing something up, you have to be able to communicate to me that, hey, not today. Maybe tomorrow I can talk to you. I just need a moment Mm -hmm. to process my day. What if that don't work? Because y'all say that, and then we'd be like, hey, another time, not now. And y'all would be like, hell no, now. No, 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 well, no, 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 no. And you learn that your partner you, isn't as emotionally yes, intelligent as you yes. think. Yes. Yeah. Right? So, if you say, hey, I need some time to process, and your partner's like, no, talk right now. Um, okay, wait a minute. Yeah. Yep. We don't but match. That and, happened, and that's that likely, from, and that yeah. happened probably likely in the past with mm-hmm. that person, and you just never picked up on it, yeah. but it's been reoccurring. Yeah. And also, like, uh, women have to give the lead way for that to, for a man to say that. Because men, we are very pushy when we can tell something's going on with y'all. We are like, well, what's going on? Why won't you talk to me? And y'all are like, no, nah, I just need a minute to sit with it. A man will get frustrated. That's mm-hmm. true. So it needs to be mm-hmm. both. It needs to be both parties participating yeah. in that open-mindedness and allowing the person to process. Because a lot of times when something happens, People need a moment to process it. Yeah. Whatever they're going to say in the heat of that moment is going to be pure emotion. It's going to be fueled by that. Yep. It might not be everything that they're feeling in the totality. They're just giving you what they're feeling in that moment. So a lot of times we all need time to process up. So when things happen, give yourself, allow yourself the space and allot the time for 
you to really process what you you going through before you start speaking on it because nothing positive is gonna come from just yeah. speaking out of that, into that moment. It's always a mistake. <laughs> When you at your most like, like you should just shut I, up. I know somewhere. that I can be petty, so <laughs> I we all know. Yes. We all know. <laughs> Dom, you, you just got the energy like you can you can cut a man down. That's why y'all with friends. Words. Yeah, uh, well, king and queen petty. Hold I mean, on, hold on now. Hold you on. be petty. You own it. I, I'm owning mine, but I was like, don't, don't act like you ain't <laughs> got your petty moments. So we all got our petty moments. Wait, wait, wait. We all it's got like, our petty but moments. I know that about myself. So I've always even even in like. You know, college relationships. He's rolling his I, eyes. I was at like, what you like yo, I gotta leave because I don't want to, as Tyler Perry would say, hit below the belt. Your references so today. I, <laughs> 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 but seriously, I don't, I don't want to be that person. And then it's like the demise of the relationship is on me because I. <laughs> You don't want the focus. Hey, yeah, we supposed to. You're, You're supposed, supposed to keep, to keep going. going. That, was, that, was, uh, that, was, that was behind the scenes. But That's then you it. looked at me and the whole thing stopped. <laughs> like, record scratch happened. Really? The Finish whole thing stopped. Now, now I That's forgot why, what he said. That's why I leaned in for it because I didn't want to distract from what you were <laughs> saying. Why. But you was distracted from what I was saying. <laughs> Can't put the camera on her. So I can go back to talking to Pat real quick about. Don't put that camera on me, Cam. Don't you do it. Listen, put that I camera on me. I forgot what you said immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> look, at you, look at you, Patrick. Oh, Lord, you too. Oh, Lord. You know, oh, I moved this. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry, this sorry, I'm silly, yelling, guys. Oh, place, Lord. Please, so, sorry. well, get your lives together. Let me just say this on the topic. As an actual sex therapist, real sex therapy is not sex. This therapist probably is not licensed, and she's just using that as marketing. Um, and I get this all the time, so please don't actually oh. seek out a real sex wait, wait, wait. therapist. You think I'm not having sex with my clients. Would that yeah. lose the license? Yes. yes. And if she is Why? licensed, it's gone now. Um, part of the therapeutic relationship is to not have sexual contact. So even if I do do some sex therapy, where like I'm coaching clients. Um, maybe through like yoga poses or different positions with your partner, I'm not actually going to touch you. And that would absolutely get your license removed. Yes, and there's That's a rule. Different states, it's forever. You can never have an intimate relationship with clients. Some, it's seven years. Mm. But like in the therapeutic relationship, that is a privilege and a power dynamic. So yeah. you can manipulate that and cause yep. additional problems. And so particularly men or women, because I'm pansexual, or transgender people who approach me, that's a decision they have to make when they meet me. Like, do you want me to be your therapist or you try to talk to me? Because you can only have one or the other. We will never switch. What if they called themselves a, like a sex coach? And then they can do whatever they want, but right. it probably okay. falls under what she's doing is sex work, which I'm sex positive, so that's fine. But just to make it clear for all the rest of us actual sex therapists, like we're not we're not having sex with you. What uh, what I have coached friends and other people that are not my clients in this realm, but listen, like if you're my client, I you will not see me naked or touch my body and I will not touch yours. <laughs> you know what? Actually that's a great that's a great point because it says Bentley, the therapist, may not have official counseling qualifications, <laughs> but she does have a master's degree in education. That has somehow made her an expert in this the, the, so the she's crazy super head. Yeah. <laughs> that has somehow exactly. made her an expert in the intricacies of relationships and marriage dynamics. Bentley yeah. formerly worked at Nevada's Moonlight Bunny Ranch, oh, a popular yeah. brothel. Okay. Actual yeah, sex work. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes that's sense. That's right. So yeah. she no it isn't. Yes it is. What that's happened? That's one of the places. Ranch. Yeah. Yo, so y'all have all heard of this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bunny Ranch? Yeah, yeah it's in Vegas. Vegas. It, well, outside of Vegas. A popular yeah. brothel, yeah, so sure. she may have... I've never heard of that. So she may be telling the truth when she says she can give tips on how to save a marriage. Absolutely. After she sleeps with your man, of course. All right, so <laughs> Maurice is... Has feelings. Maurice might have a personal relationship with this person. <laughs> <laughs> but not but not um, he works literally with everything people. that you said was yeah. in that last paragraph. It, it's good for a lot of people. Spicing it up, like... That's a good par portion of people who come to me for sex therapy. That's what they're like asking for. Like, how do I have the conversation with my husband or wife that I want to have another partner? Or like, how do we have the hall pass conversation? Um, men and women, that's like the number one thing is novel sex. They don't want an outside relationship because relationships are complicated. But like you said, people who travel yeah. or go on business trips, like the excitement of like that first new, f you know, like yeah. they're like, how do I say I want that? And I'm like, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I've called But wouldn't a lot that just be like. To do what? That. I feel like every man <laughs> thinks that they would say that, and it's not as easy as that. They'd be like, what? Divorce. But sometimes it's, it's, it's women as well that kind of feel like they want something 
a little extra. And so, but it's like, it's like to hear said, like, the person has to be emotionally mature to be able to receive that. So mm-hmm. you kind of have to know your person to kind of, mm-hmm. edging isn't the right word. <laughs> like, but right, like, that's a whole thing. Edging, that's a whole different thing. Okay. That's a real thing. <laughs> but it's like, you know, ease into it a little bit and, and just open their, like, mind to it. Right. Because it's beneficial on both parts. It's not like you're, like, I like she said, I don't want a relationship. I just, <sighs> what? Yeah. 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 What I'm going to make space. Yeah. I'm going to make space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to slide this down, Tim. You can take this. Uh, no, we'll just... I actually have to oh, go Big have purr. To... Okay, Five, I'll give her this seat. You. Have this one right here. Big purr. What up? Hey. I'm going to sit you here for Stephanie. Come on in. Uh, what color you want? Blue. <laughs> Gold. So we got more people coming. Silver. But Pat, you know Pat being Pat, he didn't realize that this was actually Green. his birthday show celebration. <laughs> so we got a lot of guests coming. What? Hence all the bottles of alcohol that we have. He thought it was just a Halloween oh. celebration. <laughs> I thought it was just for us. <laughs> what? Gold, I would have chose gold based on the fit. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for awesome. all the basketball fans out there, I just want to say this. You guys have to get on this NBA 2K Mobile, okay? Yeah. This is an amazing game. You all remember basketball games, your favorite basketball player, your favorite basketball moment, whatever it may be, you all remember what it was and that moment and why it's so Same. special with you. Uh, now you get to relive that and recreate that with your own player with NBA you talking about me. 2K Mobile, okay? You get to literally create your own player. You get to climb the leaderboard. You get to create amazing memories, amazing stats while playing the game. It's the must-play mobile game for basketball lovers who want to conquer the court online. And because it's on your phone, it means that you can play it anytime, at any given moment, any given time. Pull it out on a plane, pull it out on a bus, pull it out when you're riding in the back of your Uber. We all know how it goes. This is the time to absolutely do this, all right? Download NBA 2K Mobile free and start customizing your My Player and Dream Team today. Pat was on the game. He tried to play me. He beat me so bad in the first, like, five minutes, I absolutely closed the game. I absolutely (laughs) closed the game. But y'all know me. I ain't the biggest sports player like that. I be trying to follow the games. I just, I I like to play for fun. Like, I'm not trying to go out and just, oh, I'll dominate you. That ain't my thing. I'm just playing for fun so I can stay abreast on what's going on in the gaming community. This is Pat playing. (laughs) Kev's playing it as well. Josh started playing it as well. And you should, too. You should do it right now. Create your own highlights. Create your own scores and, and, and go up the leaderboard and create a dominating dynasty of your own. All right? So go ahead and grab that. Download NBA 2K Mobile free on the App Store or Google Play and use my promo code Tatum 2K Mobile <laughs> to redeem an exclusive Jason Tatum Pearl Tier Core. That's nice. Tatum, T A T U M 2K M O B I L E. All right? Do that now so you can re- you receive your exclusive Jason Tatum per- uh Pearl Tear Court. And yes, Jason Tatum is from the Lou, so we always represent. You know how we get down with hey, that. Hey. But do it right now. You'll have a great time. Catch us up on the leaderboard. Meet us up. Beat us there. You know what I'm talking about? We in here. Y'all had a whole thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> a whole entire thing going on when I was trying to do yeah. this damn thing. Dom. And I, don't, Dom, I don't know how I Dom felt twice. Stroke. Pat did it the second time. I did it the first time. <laughs> Wait, what you mean? You, you did... knocked it over when you passed me her drink. Oh, it was empty, though. You spilled. Oh. It was still enough in... Okay. That's a good point. Damn. See, I was giving the seat to you right here, oh. so you're going to be closer. Yeah. Oh. And I'm going to stand up until uh, cause we got more people. Big purr in the building. Big I'm purr. Here. You know what's funny? I was. Uh, I went to... Keon Dixon did a concert at Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, mm. and they had some... Uh, oh! oh! Yeah, it's BT Kings. 
we got Kingsley in the building. Happy birthday. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday. What's up, Kanye? What's up, baby? Yeah. Happy birthday. 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 <laughs> well, you gotta get Cam a little juice too. Wait, wait, wait. That's, oh, okay, oh, oh, that's okay. Yeah, okay, boom. I'm pour him a little something. That's good, right there. <laughs> that's it. B T don't ever drink. So yeah. oh, here we go. Boom. This is a special moment right here. Woo! Oh, y'all. Oh, Woo! Come on now. Come on. Let's man. see if he throw do it though. Is he gonna the do it? Throw the peaches in the chat. Throw the peaches in the chat. Throw the peaches. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't did it yet. He there didn't do it. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Take that Once OJ to the face. Hey, oh, thank y'all for pulling up, man. We got to do a freestyle. Oh, Ooh. shit. <laughs> oh, man. What? Yeah, yeah, BT, have, what's up now, baby? You have no idea how often I laugh <laughs> to myself at goddamn, I'm going to make your bitch walk the plank. <laughs> Oh man! What was that, nigga? The pirate no. freestyle at the pirate freestyle. Right he was like, "We are gonna make your bitch walk the plank." Bro, <laughs> <laughs> right. I let it, wasn't it? That yes, was the nigga, I have been that shit about three times a day, bro. Oh my yeah. god! Hey, yeah. pirate, pirate freestyle. Pat. I like Pat. the um, I like the, my, I like the mystical I like the mystical freestyle. Hey. Oh, the mystical is that stop was... throwing them peaches. Peachy in the chat. Pat, let's go. Peachy Pat. Wait, what the hell I miss with Peachy Pat? What is Peachy Pat? Peachy okay. Pat is one of the times I uh, I got a boat and Pat came on a boat and this was a while ago. Me and Farron thought about it. He brought a singular peach. <laughs> <laughs> that was your just, snack? That your was just snack? for him. He was just he brought it for himself. <laughs> he brought a bottle of rose champagne and one peach. <laughs> and then it was just like, yeah. <laughs> Did you offer to share the peach? I was supposed to eat it on the way, oh. but I was speeding because I was told the dock left, the boat left in 15 minutes, and I was an hour away. Uh. Damn. So, the thing. I didn't have a chance to snack on the peach. We expect Pat to <laughs> arrive late. We, we just expect Pat to arrive late. And today, no, this motherfucker shows up on time before he's supposed to be here. And I was like, of course, on all days. <laughs> or you this didn't motherfucker have a wants to be prompt. He wants to be <laughs> yeah. timely today. Mm. I was like, all right, Pat, to be here about 9, 10, 9, 15. We have everything together. I stopped for drinks. <laughs> and then nobody Pat. liked the drinks either. Everyone was like, we don't drink rose. I yeah, was like, yeah, rose is not it. the move. I don't mind rose. I didn't know rose wasn't popular. I brought I champagne drink and rose. I just, just drink it. Just in case. Rose. You talk about, rose is like a champagne, though, ain't it? But I thought, like, I thought women loved rose. I love rose. I'm out of touch. I, I'll drink rose. I drink rose. I'm not that person. Like, it's in the champagne family. You so if you, really I feel like if you don't like rose, <laughs> you barely like champagne. <laughs> I don't like rose. I don't like it. It's a different taste and it's a different drunk. I don't like it at all. I like the sound of it. Rose. Yeah. I'm more I of like a prosecco. It. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, give I me that prosecco. A... That's what we mm -hmm. rocking with. We a lot of prosecco. Yeah, we we. I, when I get on the boat, I take a whole cooler for the, the the mimosas. Like we have a cooler of it, and we go crazy with it. I, I hit up like... P. Shout out to P. Cause P hit me up. She was like, "Yo, I drink with Pat. I'm gonna tell you what he like." <laughs> he hit me this morning and told me to get which whiskey and the Captain Morgan. I'm talking about it. P hit me about. Eight in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we talked about this. So we got we got a whole y'all can't see it, but it's a whole bar over here. Oh, yeah, it's lit. Lit. I want my home. Oh, you was able to get it. I was able to get it. Oh, okay. I got my phone. Okay, okay. okay. Huh? We need hats. Um, um, we got we got a couple more. I hats. don't know why y'all ain't had no hat on well, when I walked in here. Just okay. nice. So okay, hands. hands. You know, the fingers are good for something. Ooh. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Listen. She kind of got long ass fingers. Because you got the long ass fingers. I like how you call it So that's probably what she's talking about. Long ass fingers. Long ass fingers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You would have been a fire ass lesbian. That nigga wrapped around the dick twice. Damn. God. Said you'd be a fire lesbian. I'm going to see Buddy. Hey, Dom, tell me to come here real fast. Let me see how you do it. Tell me to come here. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. Come here. Jacket. Did it before and called me to grant your hair. 
Why <laughs> <laughs> you call everybody the Grinch? No, but it caught me by surprise, and I accidentally called him the B-Bar. That's, that's, that's Dom's favorite word. Like, bitch. The bitch is her favorite it word. It really is. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, my God. Bitch, bitch, is, bitch is the best cuss word. Mm-hmm. Bitch and fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Grab, like, grab bitch, an ornament your real fuck slow. Stop it. <laughs> 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 like, witch, <laughs> like witch <laughs> fingers. <laughs> do E.T. Your ancestors from Salem. Your ancestors from Salem? <laughs> why you, why I'm just you? playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. You know what? All right. I think no it's the color of the nails. Nice, it's the color it's of the nails, Dom. No, Dom, no, 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 you're good. No, 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 I got good. long fingers, too. Yeah. You don't. No, you don't. They it's just kind of fat because I'm thick. It's funny because she talk with her hands, too, because she be like, no, no. <laughs> I, do, I do talk with my hands. That's people really get offended about that. They feel like it's aggression. I'm like, no, it's gestures. It's like me being... It's aggressive because of your fingers, though. If, if, I think they're, getting, getting, they're getting longer the more I pay if attention to like them. you talk like this, would nobody even say nothing? <laughs> if it offenses words. <laughs> I like your hands. <laughs> it's not that Dang. long to hear. Don't do that. But I'm also, but I'm also. They're y'all, getting longer the as we like, speak. Y'all, y'all, act like, y'all act like a motherfucking bitch is short. Y'all act, y'all act like I'm short. I'm fucking That's true. tall. You are tall. What are you, five? You long. Five ten? Yeah. Almost five nine. You can okay, touch. Period, uh, you can touch BT too. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you five. I feel like you five ten. I'm not five ten. <laughs> Almost though. I feel like you closer to five ten to five nine. I feel you make. Okay. But you always have heels on too. So I'm like, you always make me feel short and I'm tall. So. Mm-hmm. But I got long fingers too. So don't feel mad. Let me see. No, they're not as long as mine. Her, her. They are kind of long. Palm, they are long. No, they're not long as hers. They're not long as mine, but it's also like the, not. the coffin nails like that make them longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So. The palm to finger ratio is. Yeah, there you go. That's the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Okay. If you put your hands Damn. on the screen, that's going to look like you. <laughs> mm. Okay, BT. I love you, you buttercream. Right. Ain't nobody talking about your built uh, Brewster built ass. Ain't nobody ah, saying shit. I'll be, I'll be sucking in. That ain't <laughs> big. That's why yeah, I, I got a uh, box Damn. of shirts for you into the in the in the car too. <laughs> that love all my shirt choices. <laughs> nobody loves all your shirt choices. He loves every BT's. shirt I've ever wore. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> BT goes and looks at couches and he's just like, <laughs> can I make get this that a shirt? shirt? <laughs> Make this a hoodie and curtain. <laughs> when you said you told Cam in that picture that he looked like a couch, figured out how to sit on another couch. <laughs> Cam was sitting no. there. Bro, I'm in the green room. Cam comes in there, no shirt on. I'm like, did you make a video? What was this about? He's like, I'm hot. <laughs> it was not that hot. And then he had to take his shirt off, bro. Damn. And he kept it off for the rest it's of the switched. time. It's on you, BT. He kept it off for the rest of the time. (laughs) Side note, the movie The Past that Don was telling you all about actually has an 88% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, if that means anything to you. The Past? It's a comedy? No, it's not a comedy. It's like a Hall Pass movie. Hall Pass? Yep. Yeah. Oh wait, I saw it's an older movie, right? No, nah. it's new. It's with uh, it's, new. it's like Candy, Candy and Ty Burns produced it, but it's Drew Sedora and like some. It's like the cat that got killed from uh, P Valley that was doing the coke. Oh that yeah, cat, yeah, yeah. That nigga, he he's in there. It's like a really solid cast. Like yeah. it's really this good. black guy. He was on the Jason Bourne that had um, uh, what was his name? Hawkeye. Oh, uh, Jeremy uh, Jeremy yeah, Renner. Jeremy Renner. It, it, he was on. He, he the black Sh- guy. He's about shred legs. Way. Yeah, he was. He was oh, in there. Oh my God! What? Wow. What? what did you say? Nothing. You called them shred legs. <laughs> hey yo, what's wrong with you? He's <laughs> an Avenger. You got a. You got. He is. Chill. He is an Avenger. You a wild nigga. <laughs> Why oh, would you? What the hell? That was an accident. Ha- Hawkeye was... is less syllables. Damn. We live. <laughs> 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 Mm. Sorry about that. Come on, he's he's better now though, right? We live he's as good. fuck. No, he's doing, yeah, he's doing good now. He, he said he was on uh, Jimmy Kimmel not too long ago. Was he? He walked on. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He walked on you the show. He, he, he did. On. Like, he walked on. It was a, he, it was slow, but he walked on. I love Jeremy Renner. What? A little shred leg. You ran it back. You ran it back. <laughs> <laughs> you a wild nigga, bro. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Well, what else we got, Pat, before we get out of here? Because we got about 10 minutes, and we got to save at least three for the freestyle. I got to I gotta do this one because we keep talking about this place, and I don't understand why people are still going. We're going to go right into the murder slash crime one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. A tw- I, yeah, I know. Yeah, thirty dollars. I bet I know what it's. LL. No, 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 for sure. <laughs> I was about to say. Tier knows what this is. A twenty-three-year-old man has passed away. Oh, I after know what this slipping is. and falling into Lake, lake Lanier. Stay the fuck away from this lake, Stop man. Stop going. Why are y'all keep going back? Three people just died like a couple like a week ago. ago. Someone got electrocuted. Someone got electrocuted, electrocuted in the water. He got electrocuted, mm-hmm. and they were like, "How'd that happen?" But there's I mean, been another know. death since then. Yeah, I saw really. one like last yeah, week. Last week, a guy went in and they said he never came up. Lake right. Lanier has the bodies. The is petitioning for them to drain that lake. Oh, and what like, a, a lot coincidence! Of people have, uh, well, because you know her, that's how her son died on that lake. But they oh. filled it in. They they flooded a whole yes. city. So she is petitioning. There's a petition going for them to drain that. Like because it is so haphazard. The ghosts won. But lakes, in hindsight, like besides this lake in general, are not built for like swimming like that because it's not like it's like something like because of the currents like there's a huge undercurrent that can happen under a lake and you could be an avid swimmer and that undercurrent take you out like they're talking about what the hell is the un- like, undercurrent though what like what ha- the why does that happen that are below these the surface water. right 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 like so riptides and stuff yeah, so what, so the what does that here, mean but there's something uh, the under is like moving you stop you know, like, <laughs> i'm swimming in swimming. everybody know i'm a fish i'm an avid fish. swimmer <laughs> and i would not go in there yeah, i'm a fishy no. fish everybody i'm a super avid swimmer like crazy swimmer me too i'm big swimmer and i can't even swim like and like people have reported like uh being feeling like something was grabbing them you just don't know what's under there like, like when they flooded that city, it wasn't even like, oh, Empty. like they moved the cemetery. Like they just went over it. So I, listen, I where's like I wonder what they is like. It, is it, in uh, like, Atlanta in Georgia? Yeah, Georgia. If close they to Atlanta. drain it, will that allow them all to escape? The ghost? The ghost? Shut up. Ooh. Maybe. Like past, oh, like, like the ghost can't swim. On? Yeah. Make so it what worse? they gonna do with that big gaping piece of land if they drain it though? Well, I just leave, leave, it alone. leave it alone. Like, I would, I would leave it alone because whatever you build on there, it probably ain't gonna be good either. How yeah. it's gonna constantly yeah. catch on fire? <laughs> yeah, it's like um, what is it, Indian burial but ground? ground? Yeah. But, but worse, it'll make it yeah. more attractive it, for people to go there. And then was it a native? Uh, but will they die? Though, ground, if they go, it a, I thought it was a black city. It was a black city. Black city, mainly black people. But at least with like uh burial grounds, it's like those people died and were buried already. But these was like this was a town of people who were actively. living Living there, that they decided they didn't want it to exist. But anymore. when they flooded wow. it, were there people still oh. there, or did they move? Did they leave? I think and there then, may have been, yeah. They're yeah. like still, so people drowned in this. Possibly. So, Possibly. so what? How did they flood it? Was it a dam that they just opened yeah, up and they it flooded it the that near, way? The nearby dam. Oh, like how they tried to do New Orleans? I mean, they didn't try oh. to do that to New Orleans. Oh. Is that a conspiracy? New Orleans. That's a conspiracy. I, think, I don't think it's a I mean, conspiracy at all. I think it's factual. What, we the, me- see, the weather machine? It's a bowl, yeah. though. Like, it was, it was like, always, uh, that was trailer. always an option. Well, so, yeah, so, mm-hmm. so, but you have to think, like, where the French Quarter is. So, the French Quarter did not flood when Katrina happened because of how they built the levees, uh, the quarters, right? But everywhere on the outskirts of that, and we see it happening, it's happening slowly in St. Louis. Um, there was a. Like they they do they that's how they get people out. So like as opposed to like using like eminent domain or other things like that or gentrifying a place. Flood like there are, that's a big ass it. word. So like currently like right now in St. Eminent or domain. North, eminent domain. Together, so that's how they took Bruce's <laughs> beat. <laughs> Two words. Did I say it weird? No, no, I was, no. She, she, he, said that was, he said that was one domain. singular big word. Oh. You thought it was one word. <laughs> eminent domain. I was, eminent like, domain. I, I was like, did I say it wrong? Oh, That's you why said I was it like, right. Okay. Yeah, eminent, eminent, eminent domain. You so, said eminent domain. I'm going to move um, your head. But hat. that's how no. they acquired Bruce's uh, beach from that <laughs> you black, got it. The, those black people. And ultimately had to give it back, but of course what was weird is that the guy sold it back. But I was like, you didn't sell it back for enough money, but whatever, there ain't none of my business. I felt the same way. But um, like in North City, there's like a huge, huge plot of land that's owned by like this like like real to like this real estate man guru or whatever, and he's just holding on to it. It's nothing there, but it's in North St. Louis, and North St. Louis is like. Okay, if you are from North St. Louis in this chat, yep. here. don't come for me. He not from North the North Side. I said right. I'm from North Side. I said Florida City Hebrew. Ooh, face oh, face ass. Did? No, I, yeah. was, I was going to say he, you not from. Mm, mm. Uh, I'm, but I was, was going to give you I rap, I rap, I rap, I rap okay, North okay. Side too. Yeah, I rap but it's like a little dilapidated, right? Ain't a little. It's a lot of okay, vacant buildings I was trying to be there. polite. I hear you. 
But Why tell people like the shit ragged at? Hold on now. <laughs> like, it's ragged that. at. It, it, it's not going to be. We're not going to do that. <laughs> ragged at. But, but because oh, in St. Louis, they'll have a day where you can buy houses for like a dollar. They're dilapidated houses. You have to show that you have the money financially. You got to show like, you got a dollar. A dollar? <laughs> you don't have the money to build it up. <laughs> to, to build it up. Okay. So like a lot of those, they <laughs> like acquire a lot of those properties like that too and they just sit on it. Yep. So it... It's like messed up, but it's just to show my what income. it is. What, I, I got to ask a question. You say somebody got electrocuted in Lake Lanier. Mm-hmm. Yes. What, how much electricity do you need? That's what to, I was trying to figure out. Yeah, like if, they, if they, I've they been on one what, side of what, the water and a, a, somebody dropped a, a battery in Probably not that much to it. swim through it. It's not that much of a mystery. He was on his dock, and sometimes docks have electrical outlets on them and yes. are powered, and it wasn't built very well, and he was in the water near the electricity. And Oh, like Ozark. Exactly. Got it. That happened Boom. in Ozark. That's mm-hmm. a real yeah. place, by the way. Yeah, in yeah. Missouri. Yeah, for sure. yeah. We should go one time. We should not. It, it, it I looked go like there. that. Mm-hmm. For real. But 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 yeah. if you're but it's fun as hell. If you're it's in the water, fun. if you're in if you're in the lake, and, uh, the and electricity hit the lake, are you electrocuted? Yeah. Oh, How far does it go? Not, it's. I mean, it moves really fast. It depends on the amount of electricity. It's. I would say it's potentially dangerous at any part of the lake, most likely. Now, really, let me ask you a question, Cam. Does because I mean, maybe we should have a scientist on here for these type of questions. But I'm a scientist. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if like the current travels the whole capacity of the lake, or if it just it, it reaches it a certain perimeter. So as far as I know, it just runs along the surface of the lake. So if say lightning hits a lake and you're in it, if you go under the water, you are most likely safe. Wow. Oh. See, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. What? Y'all should ask me these questions. You also can't mm-hmm. see lightning coming. What if some? Yeah. If you put like a like a open power line in a in a lake. Would everybody on the surface, so, even on the other side, get yeah, electrocuted? Yeah, I mean, it would be bad for everybody, yeah. Really? Everybody that amount it. of electricity. It's, it depends on the amount of electricity. Because you, like, you got to think about it. When you it put... on, probably not very bad. But a power line, sure. Oh, yeah. Well, but like, you got to like think about it. When they threw the, the, the blow dryer in the bathtub, it got the yeah. whole thing. But, yeah, that's, but that's, a small, bathtub. that's a small <laughs> diameter. <laughs> if you're in a boat, though, you're okay, though, right? Like you should be insulated. Like, as long as you're not feet hanging on the metal. As long as you're not hanging onto the metal railings of the boat or anything like that. Oh, you can get people on the boat? It could. Because that current would so run through the metal. The yeah. boats are metal, so yeah. It would, run Unless you so it would just boats. kill all Man. the fish at once? It would, well, a lot of the fish would die. It's but the not, fish are underwater. But, but if they're close to the surface, if they're close enough, to the surface, if, yeah. they can die. There's like an, uh, there's a level. It's not just like just the top of it. There's like a, a range so of how much. Shit, you could be touching the rail. The rail get electrocuted. You get electrocuted. Yeah. And a person touch you, then you can get electrocuted. But what I didn't if, even know okay, humans with conductors like that. What if I'm standing on the water with rubber shoes? Then you're fine. Why, standing you're standing, on, the standing on the water? Yes. Shoes. Where are you going to do that at? How? You mean standing in the BT water? BT Jesus? No, standing on the water. Standing on the water. If you're already, if you're already yeah, doing BT Jesus. Jesus. If you're above the water, you're fine. You're already doing miracles, so why would you what be worried about What if I'm in the water with all rubber on? Then you're probably fine. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this, 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 <laughs> this, this <laughs> freestyle beat. Uh, what if I'm in the, for past birthday. What if I'm in the water with a condom on? Oh, you know what? Don't talk. Don't listen to BT no more. dick is BT is done. Why not you? Are Everything done. but your dick was electrocuted. <laughs> 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 he didn't live, but his dick. Like, what the dick is, is that? Thing. Dick was if anybody needs condition. a transplant for a penis, we got it right now. <laughs> Silicone dick. Uh, Pat, pick a beat. What type of beat? Um, and we gonna we gonna go from there, man. We gonna oh close up man. Uh, type beat type. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking around. Don't tell me what to do. All right, Pat. How about island? I knew I he was gonna say okay. that. I was like, he gonna say some island shit. I saw the, I saw the juice. <laughs> All right. I saw uh, a sea grill. I need some more liquor. I'm gonna do uh, Chopper the... style is <laughs> not <laughs> right. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, Chopper oh, style. No, she was doing Zaka style. She was doing Zaka style. Zaka style. Zaka style. You said Zaka style. 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 Zaka no, no, oh, do, uh, damn. See, I thought you was doing. You was, nah, I'm going to do Bomb Bomb. 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 The boom, 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 boom. It's a real one birthday and everybody pulling up. I want to thank everybody for coming through. We had some mimosa, some oranges, some pineapple, some coconut. We're about to smoke a ganja later, but for now we're going to freestyle. Yeah, it's my birthday, I'm feeling merry. We on damn internet, you scary. We on damn internet, you scary. Scary. 
I just climbed a tree and got me a coconut. Coconut. Then I bust me a coconut. Coconut. All on a cocoa slut. Cocoa slut. The boom. Got some cocoa butts. I went fishing and got me a lobster. Lobster. Now I want me another. Another. Then I read me a novel. A novel. <laughs> I look over on the sea and I thought I saw me a manatee. Persephone. But it was just BT. Then I saw Persephone. Persephone. <laughs> I'm gonna pass it to my left. We smoking on the ganja, no stress. Put you on the right. <laughs> Don't try to coordinate this. Oh, it's me. I'm gonna pass it to the far left. Oh, oh BT. BT got something to get up off his breast. <laughs> I mean, get up off his chest. His chest, his chest, his breast. <laughs> Oh, that chest was so wet, so wet, in the midi of the sit, the sit, it was a good time, good time, good time. Smoke the ganja, 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 it's bad birthday, bad birthday, it's a good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. more fire for you, more fire, to spark up the crew, to spark up the crew, what we do? Well, we do, 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 do. We eat Malibu. We eat Malibu. Malibu rum cake. Make your girl bum shake. Make your girl bum shake. Make your girl bum shake. Shake it, shake, shake it, shake, shake it, shake. We get wild. We get wild. Chop us down. 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 Fire, fire, fire. Okay, dog. We aim this like a fire. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Come on. Don't jump into the fire. Don't hey. jump into the fire. Hey. 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 Smoking on this reefer. Hey. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Cause this bitch is a keeper. Hey. 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 She a keeper. She a keeper. Because she got better boys than me. Ooh. She do this every day. Hey. 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 Come on. Hey. 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 Money and Miss Tiffany and Tiffany. They call me Persephone. We're here for Pet B Day. We're gonna give him some nice things to say. It's gonna be a real nice, nice day. Nice day. Hey, 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 I ran out of bars, but I'm gonna keep going. We flowing. And we on them in that net, you scary, yeah. scary, scary. And then the DJ come in, bop, 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 bop. Hey, Do it, you know, rock, 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 rock. We are the keeper. We are the Dumb is a keeper. Dumb is a keeper. Dumb is a keeper. Dumb is a keeper. With the long finger. You want to win some happy birthday? Happy birthday. Shout out to our special guest, the King Dude, St. Angeles. We got Persephone in here. We got BJ Kingsley in here with the Kingsley crew. Shout out to the Mormon Mob and the Scary Squad also in the chat. Shout out to my brother, Patrick Clay. Shout out to Shout out to Cam behind the cam. Cam. Um, Come uh, on. As always, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we'll see you on the next episode of Damn Internet. You scared. Thank you, guys. Ba, 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 ba. Thank we y'all so much. Chop it up, get it up, hop on, chop, pop, pop. I don't chop it up, cut up. Chop it up, I don't 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 chop it up, I don